Hello, welcome to Pro Mixing and Mastering. Uh, I've got another tutorial video for you guys today, and basically today I uh, will be uh, showing you how to use parallel compression in Cubase 5. Now, what is parallel compression? Parallel compression, also known as New York compression, is a dynamic range compression technique used in sound recording and mixing. Basically, this is when you uh, take um, another vocal from the original vocal and try to squash it, try to compress it, try to EQ it, and then finally blend it in uh, with the original vocal. Now, this technique has been used all over the world. Have you ever uh, listened to a song, especially like trap, uh, um, pop, R&B? There is this uh, uh, type of feel like the, vo the vocal is, uh, is really cutting through the mix. Now, to achieve that, they use parallel compression. I'm gonna show you. I've got a drive vocal. Let me just uh, play it. My heart calls out to you. My mind sends the vocal is dry and um really there is nothing going on so the first thing that i'm gonna put i'm gonna go to my uh, left side inserts i'm gonna insert go into dynamics and try to insert our vox so that i can just lift up our first vocal just lift it up so i'm gonna set it to around um around 20 there so let's listen to it with the our vox uh, engaged my heart Goes out to you, my mind says yes. As you can listen to the vocal, it has uh, some background noise. What I'm gonna do is just to uh, go to restoration and then I'm gonna pick uh, X uh, noise or stereo from our uh, waves and I'm gonna set this one. Reduction is gonna be on 20. My heart goes out to you, my mind says yes. So now what I'm going to do is try to send this vocal um, to my group channel. I have two group channels and the first one is going to be for the main vocal. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to send this, just come, to or, or just come to stereo and then go to group one. So that being said, I'm going to go to my, uh, um, to my group one and insert um, to my inserts and insert a, an EQ. So I'm going to go with um, and our EQ six stereo yeah what I'm gonna do right now is try to uh, remember we are doing parallel compression and this is the first thing because this is gonna be uh, duplicated into a second vocal so that I can squash it and try to blend it in right now I'm gonna cut uh, the law some laws I'm gonna just do this bring it down and try to cut listen to it as I cut my heart goes out to you, my mind says yes, my soul says yes, my mind says yes. Well, I'm going to cut it to around one a frequency of about 172 I know sometimes can be you know but I, I want this vocal to be uh, in that range then I'm gonna try to find some unwanted frequencies and then before we go into parallel compression so that's what you, that's what you're supposed to do first find deal with unwanted frequencies before you do uh, parallel compression work on the first vocal so I'm gonna work on this one here we go My heart goes out to you, my mind says yes, my soul says yes, my mind says yes, 
my heart says yes to you I'm thirsty my heart calls out to you my mind says yes my soul says yes my mind so I'm gonna set that to about negative 3.0 I think I'm okay let me try to find another frequency my heart goes out to you I think in this er around uh, 2k area I'm, I'm gonna try to uh, bring this one oops this is gonna be on 3.0 3.5 somewhere there I'm gonna try to bring this one down to around 2 negative 2.5 yeah my heart goes out to you my mind I think I'm okay right there and then uh, secondly I'm gonna try to add a compressor just to compress the voice a little bit and I'm gonna get uh, our compressor from waves and I'm gonna take my ratio to 3 3.3 uh, 3 to 2 and then my threshold I'm gonna bring it down to about um, 20 let's see what 20 can do we'll do my heart goes out to you my mind says yes my soul says yes my mind says yes as you can see during compression uh there is uh some noise lifted up that is because i have uh compressed my vocal and i have uh increased the volume so what i'm gonna do is add in um another uh, uh, denoiser from Cubase and I'm gonna set it on a uh, medium and let's see uh, just listen to it my heart goes out to you my mind says yes the noise is gone so most times when you add in compression and try to raise the volumes and EQ uh, you, you raise unwanted frequencies so what you do is add a second denoiser also after compression there is that um, unwanted signal that tries to uh, get pulled off like it just comes up again so you need like you can add a second EQ try to and try to remove un, unwanted uh, uh, frequencies I'm gonna listen to it and if I I feel like removing any unwanted frequencies I'm gonna remove those unwanted frequencies so I want you to follow my heart goes out to you all right I think I'm okay with where it is right now I'm just gonna add um, autotune autotune April I have my preset right here Vox my key is set to G yeah my heart goes out to you my mind says yes. so what what you do with our uh, parallel compression let's say I'm satisfied with the way my vocal is so I'm gonna try to uh, modernize it and try to come up with uh, modern mixing and mastering so what I'm gonna do now here is what you do during a uh, parallel compression the same voice you just duplicate it make it into two I'm gonna uh, right click and say duplicate tracks then I'm gonna have this second vocal and the first vocal is gonna be this one and then this one the second vocal let me just write it it's gonna be my power there compression so this is gonna be my parallel compression and I'm gonna squash this how am I gonna squash it so let me let me just uh, go to my edit channel settings so what you do is open it again uh, let me uh, mute the first one this is gonna be 
our original voice and the second one is gonna be the squashed uh compressed really hard compressed vocal and uh that is gonna be used to uh blend into the original voice so i'm gonna open this and then i'm gonna add in a, a compressor i'm gonna add in a compressor so you can use any compressor that will work for you for me uh I'm used with uh, waves compressors so I'm gonna use RCLA 76 stereo so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, set my attack to 7 then my compression my ratio is gonna be to all you set it to all or to the maximum now listen to it my heart goes out to you then I'm gonna uh, add in um an eq try to eq it and try to completely uh try to destroy it so here we go i'm just gonna roll off a lot of uh i'm, I'm just gonna kill the voice what you're trying to have is just uh, a voice without anybody so here we go My heart. And I'm sure when you listen to modern uh, sounds, you get this guy, you, you're like wondering, how did they pull that off? How did they get that, that voice to just, you know, it sounds like there is no body to the vocal, but at the same time, when you listen to it, it has a lot of body. So how do they do it? They use parallel compression, just like this. My heart goes out to you. Whenever you experience some noise, just raise raise the the denoise a little bit or x noise a little bit just to uh, silence the other part the, the the noise the background noise. Right now, what I'm gonna do is try to um, try to bring the EQ even more. So I'm gonna try to do this. My heart. So we can have that. Goes out to you. My mind. Says my mind says yes. So right now what I want remember what you want is just that you, you, you don't want the body of the song. What you want is just that high end or that that sharpness is what you're looking for. Though not really sharp. If it is too sharp, then use uh, a DSA to just reduce the sharpness a little bit. But what you want is you're trying to get something in the in the in the range of 2K uh, area around 2K somewhere there, three to 2K, three to 2K. So with mine, I think mine will sit well in the area of three to 2K somewhere there. Right now, let us blend in our parallel uh, compressed vocal open edit channel settings and then my volume is on zero so what you do is try to blend it in until it is uh, blended together with the original vocal so here we go i'm gonna play it and then i'm gonna try to raise the volume until it is blended in my heart goes out to you my mind Says yes, my soul says yes. Can you guys tell the difference before? My heart goes out to you after the parallel uh, compression. My heart goes out to you. So basically, this is the modern way of uh, uh, achieving that uh, vocal. There is a huge difference when it comes to uh, unparalleled uh, vocal and the parallel uh, compressed vocal. And this is how you do. You use parallel compression in uh, in in Cubase uh, five. Go ahead and do parallel compression. It's gonna help you a lot. I'll see you in the next one. Please don't forget to subscribe to my vi to my channel and also like the video, um, share my videos. 
uh, let's get the channel going. I'll see you in the next one.